Ten years have passed since El Presidente came to power on the island. It is hard to tell what the future will hold for our leader, but one thing is certain. It will be interesting. Militarist supporters have voiced their concern that the number of soldiers and generals stationed on the island is insufficient to defend the nation. If you ever consider joining the army, now is the time to make the decisive step. Uncle Pedro wants you! Today is a sad day for Tropico. An unspeakable act shook our island just a few hours ago as some traitorous coward has tried to assassinate our great leader. Among the suspects are virtually all foreign intelligence agencies. The presidential advisor, Penultimo, a toucan worshipping environmentalist, and an old hermit who supposedly lives in a bird's nest and prays in the lotus pose. Special report. That new rebel fad has grown out of proportion. They are attacking buildings now. El Presidente stated he is shocked and appalled by this unprovoked attack on the peace and democracy in Tropico. Yeah. 
matter requires president's attention. Time to check up on my people. Citizens of Tropico, I would like to address you in this crucial time of our development. In these dire times, we have managed to pull through, to have an economic growth despite all adversity. I salute you for that fact. There are long lines in front of confessionals. We shall not deny that. However, the reasons are as clear as day. Solutions will not come until the capitalists cease to undermine our efforts. Through my years of presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. Now I bow to the superior morality of the religious tropicans, who absolve our sins in the face of God. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory, and I have plans for tomorrow. I promise to you that in my next term, people will no longer have now? to live in shacks. God bless all you and, and good day. President day. Yesterday, I got robbed in plain daylight. Twice. The second time, the guy didn't believe my money was taken and just beat me up. I know there is crime in every society, but ours is getting a tad too much.